I think timing, it's, uh, as they say, it's, uh, it's everything. And in this case, uh, it's working perfectly for us. Uh, I must say, due to luck more than anything else and the great effort of uh, the people uh, and the government in the US uh, to, to um, slow down the spread of uh, COVID. As we all know, including other parts of the world, that's the top of the agenda for, for and of more, most concern to the travel and the hospitality industry. It, it feels like Las Vegas might be pushing ahead where Singapore and Malaysia are hitting some challenges. Uh, that's true. I think governments, as uh, they should be, uh, need to formulate uh, a longer-term policy. And and in our part of the world, uh, Malaysia and Singapore, we had it uh, uh, under well controlled. Okay, because of the quick reaction. Of that the government were prepared to, to take, such as uh, locking down uh, the country. And um, unfortunately, this pandemic uh, lasted longer and it traveled right around, around the world and then now back uh, a second time in, uh, in Asia. Though Resorts World provides new competition for, of course, MGM, Caesars, Win Las Vegas, and the Sands, that's Venetian and Palazzo here. Analysts tell me that everybody should get a boost in visitation because this property will be an added draw. People just want to come to Las Vegas and check it out, even if they stay somewhere else, Martin. So, yeah, I mean, talking about visitations, uh, Contessa, I mean, if you build it, they will come. Who's coming? I mean, especially the Chinese high rollers are, are, are I mean, what, what are the prospects? It's a real problem here because, remember, when Chinese tourists come to Las Vegas, they spend more on gambling, they spend more on the amenities, they spend more at the restaurants, and they're not here. So that part of the bottom line for these Las Vegas resorts is missing. And by the way, it's not just missing in Las Vegas. We know that it's hurting the bottom line for these other companies in Singapore. If, you, if you're looking at Las Vegas Sands, they need those Chinese visitors to be traveling more broadly, be back spending money. Um, and, and certainly the, the Macau dependent revenues, uh, they just have not ramped the way that we're seeing the domestic gamblers and visitors ramp back in Las Vegas. So, it, you know, they're looking forward to those restrictions easing, vaccinations improving, infection rates going down, and Chinese tourists starting to travel the world again.